you may have already noticed. Today, you are going to see a very impressive machine. It's not so much about what it can do on the road, but more about the way it was built. There is a problem about labeling certain projects as custom motorcycles. And the problem is, we never know to what extent it really is a custom work. This is precisely the point in which this Moto Goose is so special among others. Because when you see the work behind this cafe racer, you will understand exactly how far this stunning project went. Welcome to Racer TV. What a great way to begin this new year. Definitely one of the most impressive Moto Guzzi's ever presented on this channel. It has everything. Style, originality, and beauty. And I suspect when you see this project's details, you'll like it even more. This is La Machina. It was built in France by Nico Labor from Moto Cicolette Certifié Non-Conform Which means Motorcycle Certified Not Compliant I like the subtle humor hidden under this label And I am also glad that Nico La has used it on other sections just like this one If you believe this machine was built with passion and inspiration you couldn't be more right about it. This amazing cafe racer is the result of several years collecting inspirational photos. According to Nicola, most of the details were inspired by cars, trains, and even airplanes. But let's begin with one of the most interesting features of this build. The rear suspension. I really don't remember seeing this kind of monoshock conversion on any other project. This is known as a push rod system. Something that we would normally see in Formula 1. It has these two push rods made from a mix of carbon fiber and aluminium tubes. They are attached to this aluminium arm, which will compress this special rear shock. And this is where things become even more complex. This shock combines high pressure air springs with hydraulic damping, hence why they're known as oleo-pneumatic. Considering it was not designed to work on this horizontal position, Nicola had to make several changes to make it work properly, including the creation of this gorgeous cylinder, just to compensate the loss of air volume inside the shock absorber. Nothing was made by accident, because all this system was computer validated, also using extensive engineering calculations. In addition to the design work of this impressive rear suspension, Nico La spared no efforts to make everything look perfect. This lower plate was made using the old school foundry method with a sand mold and melted aluminium. If you think that the do-it-yourself chapter is over, I will have to say, no. On the contrary, it is just getting started. One of the most popular questions on this channel is where can I buy a headlight like that one? But on this case, you can't. Yes, I know it looks very cool, but it is also Nicola's work. 
He just took some parts from a conventional headlamp and made all the rest. And this applies equally to the awesome tail light. It looks like the exhaust pipe and it fits perfectly with the rear cowl's style. But the custom parts list still goes on. The throttle cables are synchronized with this beautiful device. It may look like factory original, but it isn't. Even this hydraulic clutch receiver was custom made. I really can't describe all the parts that were built by Nikola. But this one really captured my attention. Believe it or not, Nikola also made it from scratch, including the electronic board on the interior. I bet you weren't expecting this. It is impressive to see the time Nikola spent creating all these smaller and almost invisible details. But let's now talk about what's visible at first glance. The project started with this Moto Guz 850 California. And again, the transformation is quite audacious. Nicola made several sketches to get the right direction for the project. And I believe he really nailed it. As you probably imagine already, almost everything you see here was handmade by Nicola. It looks beautiful, balanced, and very cafe racer. The frame's rear section was obviously cut. But the way Nicola reinforced this section is quite interesting. It reminds me of an airplane wing, in addition to allowing the alignment with the fuel tank. If I had to define this design in one single word, it would be coherent. One of the most common problems in creating new gas tanks is the loss of the motorcycle's identity. But not on this one. If you pay attention, you can easily see Moto Guz's typical lines. It may seem a little more aggressive, but the charisma is still there. And I think Nicola was very smart on this point. A perfect tribute to a brand that turns 100 years old. So, what more can I say about this glorious machine? After knowing all the changes, we came to the conclusion that Nicola has a vast knowledge on mechanics, industrial design, electronics, engineering, hydraulics, foundry, metallurgy, plating, welding, and finally, an excellent taste for cafe racers. It's rare to find so many talents in one single person. 
but finding a person with all those technical skills associated to creativity, originality, and an excellent good taste. It is almost like a miracle. I am very glad for having found Nicola. And I am absolutely sure we will see him again in the future with another extraordinary machine. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.